Hi everyone and welcome to Cloud Conversations. We're back from uh, Christmas break um, and we're ready to go for another year in January. Very, very excited to be back. Um, and today we've got a really special show because we've got all of the hosts uh, and you'll probably notice that we do have someone else who is, or else that way, uh, that who way. is joining us um, on the show. We've got a new co-host to announce. We're so, <laughs> so excited, so happy uh, to introduce Azure McFarlane as a new Cloud Conversations co-host. So, ha, so happy for you to be here, Azure. Say mm -hmm. hello, mm -hmm. tell everybody who you are, what you're about, what yeah. you're going to bring to the show. Thank and you. uh Woo, really, really happy to have another woman on the show. <laughs> yeah, thanks for letting me bring some more party to the party. I'm very excited <laughs> to be here. Thanks for having me. I even brought my own air horn to announce myself. So, Woo! Hey, <laughs> need more air horns. That's I so love such it. commitment. <laughs> I, uh, I am joining, I guess, a group of Dynamics folks. I come from Power Platform side, so we are low code cool. Um, thanks for, for having me here. Amazing, awesome. wonderful. Good stuff, and we need we uh, we got the pronunciation correct, didn't we? Because did. I know that that's you did a point of yeah. controversy. Yeah. Yeah. My mom will come after you if you don't get it right. So yeah. just, just beware, Mama Cloud. She's 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 listening. <laughs> Do you know what? There was a couple of people. So we have obviously made an announcement on our social media about our new co-host. So happy, and there was a it got you know loads of support, and there was a few of my colleagues who said. What a great name for like a Microsoft mm. like MVP, and I was like, I know, right? And so they were like, that's just like the earth lining up with the universe to make that happen, it has to be kismet, <laughs> right? Like that's the only thing that I can think of right now is it's kismet to be named that. My mom was way ahead of her time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so true, so true. But uh, Satya Nadal, I cannot say your name correctly though. He says Azure, doesn't he? Oh well, he's wrong. Who, who does? He's wrong. Satya. I'm sure Satya pronounces it Azure. Have to have a thought. Is that that's not that. <laughs> that's not acceptable, is it? You'll have to tweet him. I didn't mean, say Azure. It actually, uh, for me or or any other pronunciation, I think of the cloud software. So when people are mentioning me in the same conversation, I'm like ah, they're not talking about me. There you go. <laughs> huh? So you different pronunciation for the person. And for the the tech, right? That's interesting. Right. Yes. Good yeah. It makes, it makes it easy for. I don't know if everybody thinks that way. I'm probably making it too complicated. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to apologize in advance when I pronounce it wrong because it's only a matter of time until I stumble up. Yeah, I know. I know. I'll be in my best behavior. <laughs> It's probably me who's going to do it, if anyone, because I'm the I'm I'm the awkward old man who um will will, will make those sort of mistakes. So again, apologies from me <laughs> for, <laughs> for everything guess, I'll do wrong really, this year. Any, any <laughs> just apologize in advance. Yeah, any guest that comes on the show, we get your name wrong. You know why? So don't don't hold it against us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why this made me think of Tice or Tace, but hey, Tice, if you're watching, how, how do you oh. say his name again, Rue? You say it much better than me. Uh, I say Tej, but uh, hopefully that's right. Uh, I've had a lot of guests from the Netherlands, Belgium, that kind of neck of Europe. And mm. again, I'll be honest, ignorant British person, I just can't mm. pronounce them. So I apologize to all my friends over in Europe, but I'll continue to mess up your yeah. names. <laughs> but you've got your own um, first name, Rue, which uh, your full name is, uh, it gives some people some trouble, doesn't it, in pronunciation, which is why you, short you shorten it. Yes, good point. So Rue isn't my real name. Uh, my real name is Ruri, which is spelled R-U-A-I-R-I-D-H. So it makes a really good password because it looks, like <laughs> it's, it looks, it looks silly. Yeah. <laughs> you can't use it anymore now. You've just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you just told me yeah. you've ruined uh, it. Everyone's going to get into my Wi-Fi now. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, so I just keep it simple. Keep my life simple. <sighs> Fantastic. But hey, what I want to say is um, a big congratulations this year, because I know that as we record this in, in January, you've not long been awarded as Microsoft MVP in December. So remind, remind me, what category is that in again? Is that Biz Apps? Or... Biz Apps, yes, that's correct. Biz Apps, fantastic. Cool. And tell us a bit about your, um, your, your, your award, because you've named your award, haven't you? Oh, yeah, we have little baby MVP. He's just sitting over here, you know, watching the camera, so... We're, uh, oh, cool. We're, we're just, you know, baby. <laughs> oh. You know, he's got a little blankie. And uh, so, low MVP is doing well. Uh, yeah, so I got my, my word in, in biz apps. Um, 
maybe that should stand for like busybody apps because I feel like I was just kind of busybody for a bit in my own computer. Um, I, I was telling my mom, I was like, it feels a little, it almost feels like a fake internet award, right? Because all of this has been happening during the pandemic. And uh, I've never, I've met three people from the whole like greater community in person. And so all of my interactions, like all the conferences I was doing were, uh, you know, online teaching boot camps online. It's been great because I think there's more, I, I've met more people than I, I think I would have otherwise, uh, which has been phenomenal. Uh, I, the community is so big, but so small at the same time, you know, like the six degrees of separation, I think it's really more like three. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, just being a busybody, doing my own thing and uh, doing teaching where I could and, and learning more about flow. That's my, my power automates my wheelhouse. I've been learning apps, but yeah, it was love at first flow and ended up <laughs> who we are. So love at first flow. <laughs> awesome. Good stuff. And I guess it's funny because I kind of feel the same, you know, like it's because everything has been virtual. It's like, and I've done online conferences mm -hmm. and I've done blogs. Maybe it's just imposter syndrome, yada, yada, yada. But you kind of feel like if I cheated my way here, when I look at the way folks used to do it and they would go conferences all over the world, get the MVP award, whereas I just sat in my chair yeah. and it showed up at the door. I, I can relate. I absolutely relate. I was like, I've just been, I feel like I've just been tinkering in my computer for a bit, right? Like nobody else mm, has really yep. seen it. The, the results are out there, but overall I was like, oh, well, I've just been sitting behind a computer screen and it felt not to downplay the award, but it felt easy, I think, because it was so fun. And I think that's another aspect of it that it was like, oh, this was, this, this feels fake. It was too much fun, right? Normally you think about it and like work super hard. And yes, I did put in hours and, and time, but along the way, it just, for me, it was, it was a lot more fun, I think, than a, than a struggle, even if the flows do give you, you know, a hard time sometimes. Yeah. I think it's a bad thing if you find it, if it's a struggle though, because it should just be stuff that you want to do anyway as part of you as a human, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. So if it, it shouldn't be a, oh God, uh, you know, sometimes maybe there is risk of burnout and things like that, but you know, sure. it, it's stuff that we all like doing. So yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it, a good point. Still yeah. putting the effort and the time. I think as well, it makes it easier because you can do a lot more stuff. Mm -hmm. So I look back at all the conferences that I've done and I was like, wow, if they were all in person, I just don't think I could do as many. Mm -hmm. Some of them are in Paris, some of them, are on mm. days where I'm I'm doing other things as well, but luckily, you know, it's an hour in the morning, sit at my computer, do it to mm. all these people, and then go out and do what I need to do in my own time. So I think it's just made it better because you can share more information and do more mm. things. A lot more to, opportunities you know. that wouldn't otherwise be available, right? And meeting meeting y'all, right? I yeah, yeah yeah. Twitter really connects together, like just slide in your DMs for some opportunities and, and <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's true and it, you know you say like uh it the fact it feels easy shows it's a good thing and it's true because you, you do all this on your spare time right all the mvp stuff is supposed to be separate to the job and obviously at the minute it's a different time zone so we're going out our way to do all that kind of stuff but by the same token one of the, the, the thing that really makes it fun is the people right because mm -hmm. since we started doing this show last year you just meet so many different types of people and it's kind of crazy how big your network starts growing and growing and growing and growing. Mm. Uh, and obviously, uh, now that you've joined the show, areas that I'm not a power guy, I, I couldn't tell you the difference between Power Automate and a toaster. I just don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it's a learning opportunity, yeah. right? And we can all find out more thanks to the kind of guests that you'll My hopefully bring to the table. Reach is getting bigger. I, like it. <laughs> not, I, I feel like I really don't need an audience, but y'all brought me here so yeah. <laughs> there you go. absolutely yeah awesome that kind of segues quite nicely into one of the new features that we're planning to introduce to uh, cloud conversations this coming year doesn't it in that um traditionally what we've done every week when we've released an episode on a friday it's been two of us with a guest and that all continue for the most part i think um we will continue in that in that format but once a month or or thereabouts i think what we're planning to do is have one of us one of the four of us do a, a learning session a, a demo session a, a how-to if you like on an on a subject that is um in our area of expertise so i think i've volunteered myself to start 
this off at, uh, in January at some point with a, a lovely, um, not too strenuous subject, a talk about advanced e-discovery. Uh, because it's a, it's a very misunderstood subject, and there's not a lot of people in the world, in fact, who, who know an awful lot about it. I can probably count them on one, one hand, the, the experts that I can think of. Um, <laughs> Yeah. But uh, and I don't really count myself among them. I consider myself a learner, but um, and I learn as I go. But what what I think it's a great opportunity to do is for the the three of you to sort of grill me and ask me questions as I go and as I'm demonstrating it. Ask me, well, why are you doing that? What's that for? What's what's this all about? And I'll probably uh, 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 um and panic and <laughs> I'm, I don't really know. Um, and I'm not always going to know the answer. And that's one of the biggest things that I have had to overcome in this journey that I. I have to accept oh. that I don't always know the answer. And there's nothing wrong with that. But um, So that's coming your way soon as well. So I hope the three of you are already thinking about things that could be your um, your talks in, in the coming months, um, yeah. your specialist subjects. Yeah, for sure. Uh, go on, sorry, Ray. No, no, just totally agreeing with Pete insofar as, you know, I think that YouTube is a great platform for teaching folks. Mm. And you'll see a lot, you know, in the comments of the YouTube videos, how do you do this, that, or the other that you didn't address in the video? And hopefully through this platform, we'll have one person who's our expert in whatever we're trying to teach you. And then we'll have three other people who, uh, certainly the case of e-discovery, I'll just be a big idiot. And I'll ask the stupidest questions that hopefully everyone else wants to know. And then Pete can answer them. And hopefully we'll repeat that across everything, across security, across power, across teams, the whole platform. I feel like I need a mm. study guide like to get caught up on a few things, right? I'm the only one in that group who kind of doesn't work in the same area. I'm gonna have True. to. Do. Yeah, that's oh. right. Because I, I guess you know, if I'm thinking about it, I'm certainly in the I'm in the security bubble, right? And the mm -hmm. engine bubble. Pete, mm -hmm. security compliance teams. Is that fair to say? Yeah, more compliance. I'm, I'm sort mm -hmm. of in security by default, but it's my least favorite of the two flavors if you like i'm sort of you get lumped into security compliance and identity and if i could just pick one out of them i'd pick compliance all day long because it's my favorite <laughs> <laughs> and then Problem i guess why. cat your team's, team's compliance viva, viva some that compliance. Thing. yeah yeah cool. compliance when yeah. it comes to the collaboration side of mm. m365 so yeah. i know a, a little bit about e-discovery and i know what advanced e-discovery is and some of the differences between that and the mm. normal one. But that's it. Um, I don't delve too much into that. So this will be a useful mm. session. I think it's good practice as well for us to present the content that we, and we get to pick <laughs> the subject <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. and get grilled sure. on it. I think it's just good, uh, mm. good practice. So. Trust me, the night before we do it, I'm going to be cramming just to make sure I don't <laughs> yeah, too, we're all too gonna silly. Be I'm going to be reading everything that Erica Tully and um, Joanne Klein yeah. and Tony Redmond and uh, Graham Hosking and all those, those sort of people have written about this. <laughs> Just to make sure, but I'll probably still make loads of mistakes. <laughs> yeah. I won't, I won't do any study because I'm lazy. Right. And that's like with what I prefer live, like conferences, whatnot over recorded. Cause if you make a mistake, like oh, you do it, it's one and done. Right. And yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> kind of it. Pete, you're going to be great. You're, you're going to be oh, great. You're going to support you. Very your kind. Album, like a little sign, you know, if you need to hear <laughs> not. I'll bring the air horn. <laughs> oh yeah, that should become a regular feature. Maybe we should all get our own version of the air horn, our own thing, our own mascot, or whatever. <laughs> oh, awesome stuff! But. Um... Yeah, but we'll also be having the regular guests. We've already got some really exciting ones lined up, which uh, you'll be seeing in the in, in the coming weeks as well. So watch this space. There's and then, and as ever, if you want to be on the show, if you've never been on, or even if you have been on before and you want to come back, got something to talk about, just give us any one of us a shout. You're always welcome. Um, we we love talking to you. But um, yep. but hey, what I thought would be a really good idea for this first uh, episode of 2022 remember the year there, mm -hmm. is for each of us to just go around um, and maybe we'll do this alphabetically, just so it's fair. We're not picking on anyone in particular order. Um, <laughs> you kind there of are. You, there you. There's, there's one person at the start of the alphabet uh, Hey, hang on. Wait a minute. I, d I didn't say which end of the alphabet we're going to start at. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> but, no. Um, but yeah, and, and have a think about uh, last year, our highlights of the year. What what were the things that we that we 
picked out of last year as, as great experiences, things that meant a lot to us and what our hopes are and uh, resolutions, I hate that word, but plans for, for this coming year are things that have sort of caught our attention. So I'll, I'll not force the alphabetical thing. So if, if anyone wants to go first other than me, I'll go last. Um, just <laughs> oh, sort of, wow, wow. Off, off you go. Wow, you picked yourself to go last. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first if you want. <laughs> you're going oh, first. You're volunteering for your advanced e-discovery first as well. So if you want to keep that, I going. am. Are we? Good? <laughs> you, we want to keep the trend up. Do we? Okay. Fair enough. Then let's have a think. Well, I'll start things off. So 2021. Let's have a think about what <laughs> happened in 2021. Well, I think the most obvious thing, as a as a good thing, that I look back on for that year just gone, is this show. Um, starting it in. <laughs> Um, must have been, was it February or March we started it? Um, when it was just Rue and, and, and myself? And something like I, that. Something yeah. like that, yeah. It all and, blends into one. Yep. Yeah, and, and it's funny, as we've added uh, you, Kat, and you, as you, you, you've both said things to us in, in joining the team that Rue and I said to each other when we were starting it, like, can we really do this? Are we going to be good enough to do this? And, you know, will anyone want to listen to us? And, and there's that old imposter syndrome again. But as soon as we did it, um, as soon as we did that first couple of episodes where you interviewed me and I interviewed you, um, we just thought, yeah, this is really cool. Um, and we just hit on a nice little rhythm. And we never intended to do it as regularly as we do weekly. When we started, we thought maybe we might do one or two a month. But the, the once people knew we were doing it, the demand for people to be a guest was in quite insane actually everyone wanted to come on the show and we had enough to do weekly for the whole year um which was great um but that's one of the main reasons that we knew we not only needed to but we wanted to expand the team as well and and um and have more people in the team because it gives when you're doing something weekly like this it gives you that bandwidth to um to, to have a little break and 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 rotate the hosts and um and have uh uh, d d different expertise in the host as well so so it's been absolutely brilliant starting it seeing it grow seeing where it's got to just now i'm excited for the year coming for where it will go um because i don't think we're done by a long shot i think we'll we're adding new features for 2022 i'm not ruling anything in or out for its future um and i'm, I'm really excited for that so that's probably my big highlight from the year gone by i think Another couple of mentions before I pass the baton is um, my second book, which I co-authored with the fantastic Nate Chamberlain, Microsoft, um, oh God, I remember the name, uh, MS700 Teams Administration Exam Guide. That came out last year. Ironically, the second edition of it is coming out probably in a month or so. We're, we're just finishing up that second edition, such as the pace of change in teams uh, that we had to write the second edition really quickly. We'll probably be rewriting it every year, <laughs> the way things are going. Um, so really happy and proud that that came out and the reaction to that has been fantastic. Um, and from a career point of view, I'm, I'm really, really uh, happy that I <clears throat> have, have settled into a role where I'm at now at CPS, where I'm, I'm doing what I want to do. Um, I've, I've worked in Microsoft 365 technologies for probably since about 2013. Uh, and over the past couple of years, I've organically gravitated towards security and compliance, but I've not had the chance to have that in my job title. And CPS have come to me and trusted me as an expert in that field. Um, I said, yeah, you can be head of this practice for, for, this, for this technology. So really, really excited and happy about that. And I can't wait to, to develop that as the, as the year goes. And the thing I'm most excited about for this coming year is my new garden office shed because <laughs> I have been, for anyone who's watched this since day one, you'll, I'm in a different location all the time. I've been in, this is the bathroom, but I cleverly, <laughs> yeah, this is the bathroom. I cleverly disguise it by positioning. You can give you some privacy if you need it. Oh, you, no it's quite convenient. I could always, I could always mute myself and take the camera off if I quickly need to um, take care of business. But, <laughs> but um, so my desk is an ironing board. I have a folding chair, and I just make sure that sinks and baths and whatnot are not <clears throat> visible. But I've also been in my son's bedroom when he's at school. I've been in our, our bedroom. I've been in the kitchen downstairs. I've I've been at my in-laws house it's that's the one with all the sewing things behind me with the blue wall so 
getting my share is gonna be it's gonna change my life it really I is and like i cannot wait you know, we talk about like agile workplace or whatever this is agility yeah. just being able to <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is also the beginning of the pandemic like for me i was working off of two ikea nightstands and like a headboard or something like on top of mm. it just to, so kudos to you for lasting this long moving yeah. around so I, I don't know how i have <laughs> oh especially this bathroom because quite often outside this door my, my younger son oliver is quite often out there with all his furbies lined up because he's got about god he must have about 20 of them now he, he he loves furbies and all of a sudden usually cat or, or rue has, has, has sort of sent me a discreet little text while we've been taking <laughs> maybe put yourself on mute for a bit peter are you, are you there's, there's some background noise there so oh the shed is going to change everything <laughs> sorry what's that as you i said the acoustics are great though so yeah, not bad. yeah there's no not echo bad, actually. that i can hear <laughs> yeah so the system's worked up until now um oh, but uh it's going to be nice to have a, a proper full-time workspace just for me finally <laughs> but that's me uh, there you go who wants to go next Amazing. awkward pause i don't mind jumping in next <laughs> so i've got similar similar ones to you i guess pete um so highlights of 2021 2021 january so this time last year uh was when i began getting more involved in the tech community so through the last 12 months i've got more involved i've met lots and lots of new people expanded my network spoke at loads of conferences around the world um you know wrote loads of blogs did this joined this podcast met you guys um so in terms of the highlights the whole year basically um and getting involved in that community and having people reach out to me being like do you want to do this i'm like really what <laughs> <laughs> um it's been absolutely amazing and i've felt i've never felt part of i didn't have a community that i was part of i'm, I'm not i don't like crochet or anything like i don't have like a, a thing that i do or a group of people that i meet um so ah uh, yeah let's see <laughs> so i'm not i don't have that um and so it's been really nice to be part of something um bigger and, and better so um yeah definitely been a great highlight especially the south coast summit sorry to rub it in Pete. i know mm. you're really good you couldn't go but meeting everybody in person was great mm. um and if i was going to think of something uh, in terms of this year all those in-person events that are being pushed back but hopefully happening those are going to be really exciting just a couple of plugs as well so i've started this year a TikTok account uh, and started creating videos like how to's talking about how to get into tech. If you've got no experience, um, you know, different jobs that you can go into entry level jobs. Um, and uh, there's tips in there on how to use different things of technology. So there's a variety of things. It's good fun. It's a lot less formal, I would say, than LinkedIn. I did try and promote it on LinkedIn and I did get a we prefer it on here. Don't go to TikTok <laughs> for my <laughs> tech tips. They got rejected. But there is a whole community, a tech community on TikTok uh, as well. So um, Collab with Cat is the handle if you do want to check out the TikTok account for some fun. Um, and uh, I'm writing uh, for Petri.com as well. That I've just been onboarded as a writer. Oh, so you'll cool. see some nice. uh, from your recommendations, guys. Um, I did get in touch and uh, I've done my first article now. So you should see more from me um in terms of blogs and things like that this year as well awesome. so but yeah yeah hopefully continue in my involvement in the tech community um yeah for this year so i'm really excited but it's been great y'all are some cool people not gonna lie <laughs> <laughs> tiktok account that does it well, honestly right? all yeah, these friends i'm doing <laughs> oh, just uh, some cool people oh wow i feel honored <laughs> oh <laughs> I feel old. I mean, like I feel like I, I don't know. Even we're know we're the same but, age. Yeah, but the fact that you do TikTok and I don't, I feel like that's a mm. kind of boundary between I generations. Either. Yeah, I don't do TikTok. I don't even have a TikTok. Everything makes its way to Twitter or Instagram anyway. And friends just send me videos, so I haven't gotten I haven't mm. gotten a TikTok yet. I mean, I'm right. definitely too old for TikTok. Know. I think, but no, Kat told me that I wasn't. Old. Never too old for TikTok. <laughs> it's such a great place it it's got its own tiktok is its own community and there's a teacher on there who mm. just started creating tiktok videos on how to use 
like teams and tips and tricks and stuff and he's got like three million people that follow him and like watch him wow. share how to use technology mm. there's people from microsoft like coders that work for microsoft who oh. are on there posting mm -hmm. about how to get a job there and stuff mm -hmm. so it's definitely yeah it's it's good fun i did actually make a tiktok reference in the fact that people say to me i'm too old for tiktok so if you go on it you'll be able to see <laughs> my trend <laughs> Plus, well, you're too old. Like that anybody born in the 1900s now might. <laughs> no, we were born in the in the in the 1900s, but rude. No, it's 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 all in jest and it's all good fun. Um, but it's definitely if you are interested in taking a look off your arm on TikTok, yeah, check check it out. It's good. That's another oh God, have a bit more layer a to TikTok. the community. Yeah. Here's yeah, me thinking that you happen. all it was was you had to. Do dancing on it. That's what I thought it was for. No, no, <laughs> so much more. So many layers to it. <laughs> there you go. Line about uh, tech and, and TikTok. I have I have questions. <laughs> Fine. Yes. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go next. Rue, best for last. Um... <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah. After you. On you go. Uh, twenty twenty one. Ooh, there's a lot that went on in twenty twenty one. Last year, I got my first non-work-related Power Platform Bootcamp, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so I taught with the Power Platform School last March and got re-invited to do it for 2022, which I thought was really nice, very flattering. Um, and what I love about this bootcamp in per se is that it prepares folks who either haven't had exposure to tech in a long time or haven't really seen the tech right there. They're, um, we get them up to a proficiency where they actually get jobs like at the end of it. So it's been, it was really cool to see throughout the year that people would message me or email me and they'd be like, Hey, guess what? I got a job doing power automate, I got a job, you know, in power apps. And it just warms my heart to see like, Oh yeah, this is actually making, you know, a, a difference. This is in making an impact for people in their lives. Um, let's see, career wise, I got a role. I got sequestered for a role at my company because they needed somebody who could do power automate, which was kind of cool. So I transitioned from process engineering in a pharmaceutical manufacturing plant to data analytics, but also power platform. So that's been fun solving business problems. And now I'm learning apps, you know, over the past couple months and building apps for our site, meeting new friends, so many new friends in 2021, because end of 2020 was when I started doing conferences. And so 2021 was all about like building these relationships and I got to meet a few people from like the the flow fam as we call them on twitter so folks in the power automate community um met up with one at like six flags over the summer uh so we went to a theme park and just like walked around we rode all the rides in like an hour and then we went really early and then just talked for hours and i feel like i've gained a whole new family um, awesome yeah i'm trying to think if there is anything else kind of 2020 was like my i think my big year for uh, stuff. So I think 2021. MVP? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. MVP. Is that <laughs> That's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> no, it, really was. it was. I had been nominated early last year and wasn't quite feeling ready. And somebody just went ahead and automatically was like, you know what? You've been asked a few times if you've been nominated. You keep saying no. And they just did it like for me anyway. And I was like, mm. was rude. but it wasn't, I think it was, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the push that I, that I needed for myself, um, in terms of like, we we're talking about imposter syndrome in our, in our, in our capabilities, right. Other people can see what we're doing and I needed that push to be like, Hey, you know what you're talking about you and there's still room for growth, right? Like, I don't know about power automate so i think that was the push in the direction that i needed and then the process ended up just taking nine months because the notification system broke and all this other stuff so it just gave me more time to add more to my portfolio and so that really was a a great way to end 2021 start 2022 uh, yeah for 2022 what do i have in mind we're going to be open to possibilities this year um Mm. kind of just looking for whatever 2022 has in store. I've been toying with the idea of maybe starting a blog. Uh, so maybe starting a beginner blog, I feel like the beginner space is kind of where mm. I well. 
Um, most of my conferences, actually all of my conferences have been in the beginner intermediate space. And I love seeing people like, hey, this is just what I needed to get started. So mm -hmm. I think that might be coming for 2022. Still getting used to having an audience. And so I feel part of 2022 is going to be getting used to this because people are like, oh, follow Jordan. I'm like, I have nothing to say. What are, <laughs> why are you following me? Like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm on Twitter the most. Uh, Facebook I have just because I have <clears throat> Uh, to catch up with old friends and Instagram. I don't really like post a lot. So I might need some lessons from from Kat over here. I think I'm, I'm we'll just... get you on TikTok. Don't worry. Oh my God. <laughs> I have nothing to say. So I've been revisiting some things that I was doing when I first got back on Twitter in 2020 ish. Like, oh, I used to post things that I'm working on, uh, simple flows. And I was like, you know what? Maybe we go, we go back to there. I feel like I was just being dumb on the internet and nobody's watching and I was having a great time. And then as soon as people are watching, I'm like, why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and maybe getting this, my, my, my place painted and decorated because I bought a place at the end of 2020 and there's like two rooms out of the whole house that have something on the walls. So mm. I'm to, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have no eye for design, so that's why everything is very neutral. Like it is. <clears throat> yeah, it's like minimalist neutral. Mm. Yeah, that's a style. My house is the same. Is that, is yeah. that a style? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have that? Okay. Mm. Okay. Everything's like clean and white, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. I it's nice. have no design eye, and I wish I did. I just don't. So, it, <laughs> like my. Oh, good. Uh, my bedroom is white. The curtains are white, and I did like a feature. It's not even a feature wall. It's a, like a color block, so it looks like I have like a canopy, but I painted it. And there's mm. something in the middle. I'll one day I'll show a picture. But the rest of everything else is like gray, white, and that mm. strip about like that borders the bed is like a teal and there's a painting with a bunch of colors in there. And it's like that's that's all I got. So. Simple is good, to be honest. And mm. our our last living room, it was a uh, it was grey painted walls with a feature wall that was a different shade of grey. So yeah. that's uh, <laughs> that's my kind of style, you know. Nice, just don't have to think about it. Okay, I feel I feel better. I've been stressing about decor and minimalist. It is. Yeah, yeah. Don't say that I don't have an eye for design. Just be like, yeah, so I've got a minimalist style. Um, Embrace it. Modern, neutral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pass it off. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> that, that is true. This is why I have you all to reassure me that it is, it is A-OK. -okay. This is, in fact, <laughs> on purpose. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, Rue. Uh, you Last but not least. Time. OK. Yes. Yeah, so I guess... Looking back, 2021 was an interesting year for me. It was, the highs were very, very high and the lows were the lowest they could be. Uh, so February, I got married. COVID wedding it was a great mm. time. My wife sitting just opposite me just now, currently working away, uh, trying to pretend she can't hear me. Uh, mm -hmm. But that was, <laughs> that was excellent. That was great. Had a great time. Finally, after I think 10 years, uh, we've, you know, we finally did it. We finally got married. So that was excellent. And then, you know, as Pete said, I'd be remiss not to mention, you know, starting the show. It's been so good meeting all these different folks, expanding the network. Been a great time. Uh, and the MVP award, which I guess, you know, you've already mentioned uh, Azure. It's just, it's really nice to get that. I guess the recognition, but also being able to join, join a club of your peers uh, and folks that you can rely on to network uh, and learn more from. Uh, the downs, you know, I, I play my cards a little bit close to my chest, but towards the end of last year, I had to take some time away from things. Things just got a bit too much for me and I needed some time away. Uh, I guess if I'm kind of thinking about it, I kind of took that as, you know, you know, life is very, very short and you have to uh, mm. cherish what little time you've got. You've got to put your health first, all that kind of stuff. That The kind of stuff that you know deep down, but work gets in the way right and everything else mm. gets in the way you have to kind of radically prioritize stuff and i guess if i'm looking forward to 22 that's kind of how i'm looking at things it's i just want to really prioritize the most important things health family uh and then 
that's not to say I won't prior prioritize this stuff because this is the big hobby for me, right? And it's fun. It's great chatting with you guys, chatting with our guests, getting involved with the community, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm hoping that 2022 will be a little bit more of a enjoyable year for me. Certainly the last few months put a downer on it. Uh, but, hey, you know, life is full of strikes and gutters, as they say in The Big Lebowski, the best movie ever. Uh, mm. So, you know, Chair. hopefully onwards and upwards, uh, as Pete's favourite show would also say. Okay. What's your favourite show, Pete? I'm trying to think, Star- actually. What, what is it? Got, 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 <laughs> got to be Star oh, Trek. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Star Trek. Onwards and upwards. They don't say that in Star Trek. I'm, I'm, I'm Star a Trek. blank look on my face there. Like, what's he on about? Oh. <laughs> feed me up, Scotty, isn't it? <laughs> feed me up, Scotty. <laughs> right. um, I'll, I'll take it, though, because... no, I, I thought I, you were a massive Trekkie. Or am I, I am, but I don't I don't yeah. think they ever said that in it. I'm a huge Trekkie. I, it's one of my favourite TV shows. But I'm trying to remember if anyone ever said that. I don't, I don't think it's one of the, one of the phrases from it. Thing. Beam me up, Scotty. Well, we know Ruth's although... not a Trekkie anyway. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> yeah. Although beam me up, Scotty was never actually said in the was show. Was it not? It's the... <gasps> no, it's one of those strange myths. Um, it's a bit like oh, wow. in Star Wars where everyone thinks it was Luke, I am your father, but it's no, I am your father. Just mm. lots of little things like that. So. You know, it's but, funny because uh... I've, I've never been a Trekkie and I've never been a big Star Wars guy. But mm. see in our little world of IT and Microsoft, they are everywhere. Yeah. I feel like everyone mm. is a Star Wars guy or a Trekkie guy. Mm. And I'm just yep. sitting here thinking, I'm just nodding politely. Yeah. <laughs> mm. well, maybe this yeah. is your homework for 2022. You got to pick a side, right? No. <laughs> no. I, like, I, like, yeah. I like the fence. So <laughs> so I'm comfy up here. Yes. I, in the room. I like watching Star Wars movies for the entertainment, but I'm not in like Marvel movies and whatnot, but I'm not somebody who follows plot mm. very well, right? And I don't understand mm. the loopholes. Are. I love watching, but the fanfic, I have to tell you, Star Wars fanfic books are awesome. They go off oh. and yeah yeah i i would get a couple from the library when i was younger and it's just all these stories about the universe <laughs> or you know that don't relate to the actual plot at hand or it's like in between the different plot lines which that was pretty cool sometimes fan fiction's better than the actual mm. series <laughs> yeah quite uh, often. like yeah because there's loads so there's har- loads of harry potter fan fiction i'm don't read it but when i was younger mm. i did what I read like Twilight fan fiction is so nerdy. <laughs> I was obsessed. Um, yeah, and yeah, it was, it was better than Twilight. I mean, Twilight's not the best thing in the world, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, fan fiction is definitely a route to go down. Yeah, and fan films as well. Some of the fan films that across mm-hmm. all sorts of genres are so well put together now, or arguably Whoa. better than some of the real stuff as well, with the money and effects that are put into some of them. Incredible. <clears throat> definitely so i guess the the last thing was any anything else any other business anything that we've got going mm. on any other new stuff i realized i forgot something oh go on. Go um it's <clears throat> just something small which i've been doing all month um since since the year kicked off i've got a little project on the go which you may have seen which is the microsoft 365 a to z oh, yes or uh or alphabet or I'm calling it both. Um, <clears throat> and one of the things I wanted to do this year was start blogging more. Um, and that wasn't very, very hard because I look back on my own personal blog, peterrising.co.uk, little plug, um, for last year. And I think I only blogged on that site maybe eight times the whole year, <laughs> which isn't very good. <laughs> um, and I also, like like Kat, and, and Rue, I also uh, write for Practical 365 and, and Petri, but I've not written for them for a long time either. The, the latter half of the year, just my writing just stopped. Um, but I did change jobs twice and um, oh. <laughs> a few other things going on. So give myself a break. But I wanted to get back into the blogging, and, and but do something useful. I didn't want to do it for the sake of doing it. Mm-hmm. And literally on New Year's Eve, I'm sitting thinking about this. What could I, could be a good blog? theme or series or article um and i'm not normally good at plucking things out of the air and i didn't like i say i didn't want to do it for the sake of it but then it just came to me as if i was channeling someone um mm-hmm. oh, hang on is there such a thing as a microsoft 365 
A to Z, um, A to Z, as you would say in the States as you um, and um, like, or an index or a glossary of terms, that sort of thing. And I, I kind of deliberately didn't search to see if there was any because I didn't want to be influenced uh, if there was. Um, so I just thought, I'm going to do it anyway and see what the reaction is. And um, as we speak, it's, um, I'm halfway through the alphabet. Uh, well, more today. Actually, I've just put N out today. I saw that this morning on Twitter. I was like, okay, I see you, Pete. You're moving. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so last year, eight blogs the whole year. Um, this year, halfway through January, I've done 14 already. So, mm. <laughs> which is, which I is, love um... seeing what you're going to come up with for the letter. Mm. And I do a thing where I'm like, oh, you could do these and do like a little game. And then I'm like, oh, so you chose mm. that one. Interesting, P. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I'm just like waiting for your next one to be like, what are you going to choose for his, <laughs> the right, for When I set letter. out to do it, when I, when I said to myself, this is definitely something I'm going to do this month. And I knew I wanted to do it quickly, um, mm. purely selfish reasons, really. I didn't want anyone else to sort of like do it better than me, mm. quicker, quicker than me. <laughs> so I better get it done before someone does it better. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible, isn't yeah. it? But, um, but, but, but no, I wanted to help the community. I wanted to pr produce something useful for the community. Um, but choosing the, the hero topic for each letter is quite difficult some days some mm. some more than others but when i set out to do it i thought before i commit to this i'd better make sure i have at least one thing for every letter um because there's obviously challenging ones i thought q and x and z z um definitely had a bit of thinking about but i've got something for every letter so i'm mm. happy with that as i've gone along the tremendously helpful folk in the community of 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 piped up on twitter and i encourage everyone to do this because this is a this is for everyone this is this is something that i hope will benefit everyone in the community um the suggested things that i've not thought of and um and and i've remembered things i've missed even just doing my job i've been in an admin center for for work in the team's admin center or the compliance center and i've seen a feature <gasps> that could be in that letter mm -hmm. and quickly added it in um but I've had a lot of good reaction to it, and um, one, one chap, um, an MVP, who I cannot for the life remember his name, I must apologize, but he, he reached out to me on Teams because uh, he has this glossary of terms on docs.microsoft.com, which is um, slightly similar but a little bit different, and he said we should sort of collaborate and, um, uh, and talk about this, and maybe he's developed the idea, maybe he's put it on GitHub, something like that, to make it more... Access. So what what I thought I would do is get to the end of the alphabet, just get it done, um, <clears throat> know that once that first pass is complete, it's always going to be a work in progress because there's always going to be change because Microsoft, well, they spent all last year renaming everything to Defender. So there's going to mm. be product change names. There's going to be new products. Um, so it's going to constantly have to be updated, which is going to be an interesting task. I'll have to find good ways to maybe keep on top of that, automate it and, and, and whatever, and just improve it and make it as usable uh, and as useful for, for the community as it, as it can be and, and see where it goes. But I'm, I'm really excited yeah. about that, though. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with how, how well it's been yeah. received and, and how much fun it is to do. It's given me quite a, a good community focus for the start of the year. So, yay. Yeah. Also, I'm going to say, Pete, remember to rest right like as yeah. <laughs> yeah. remember, remember, i know we've all been here too right and really yeah, yeah. like self and health are are most important and when you use that term radical rue about like ah it's a radical thing to like put kind of work aside right mm. the moment i've been talking about this all week about how rest is necessary right and it oh, is yeah. radical thought and i thought this was more of a an American thing, right? We don't, we don't have like work-life balance. What is that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we've been talking about that a lot in terms for ourselves too. But so this year, I'm gonna say 2022 is also the year of it's like exciting things and also rest is essential, not mm -hmm. a reminder. So I'm releasing you of your feeling, your your need to feel productive when you need rest. Mm. Yeah, it's well, good so. advice, and and I know Kat, you've you've taken me to task on that previously as well. And uh, it is something I need to work on. I'm not good at switching off. Um, I'm, I'm, mm. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much active or I'm sleeping. Um, yeah. Is, is my two states. If I'm not 
doing something, if I'm not holding a device, a phone, or working on a laptop, or doing some sort of job around the house, if I'm just sitting, mm -hmm. I'll fall asleep in like yeah. two seconds. My, yeah. my, my, wife, my wife doesn't know how I do it. She, she, she'll say, one minute you were there, and the next you were... <laughs> <laughs> and I'd love I can, to be I, like that. <laughs> oh, no problem at all. But there's, there's no in between, and I need to find a, a, a better balance. Yeah. Um, for sure. I've been telling you in the group chat to go to bed, Pete. Just go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Like half 11. Like, there are five hours of color now, but there is no reason why Pete should be mm. up right now. So, yes. Please. We'll remind each other and our guests and the people listening I'm releasing you from whatever is keeping you up at night to be productive. Mm. Just go to bed. Just go. I'm, I'm, putting this, I'm putting this out there because I need to listen to my own advice too. <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult, isn't it? Because I, I mean, living in a, a fairly small house with um, with with four of us, my wife and my two boys. Um, there's not much time which is just for myself. And at the end of the day. Um, when, when the boys are in bed and my wife goes up to bed, I, I tend to stay downstairs a bit and that's pretty much the only time I get that's really just for me. And I, and I kind of think to myself, oh, oh, let's just do this, watch this, do a bit of that. And, um, b before you know it, it's, it's half after midnight. Um, huh. and I think, oh, I've only got like six hours till I need to be up now. And you really need eight hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. So oh. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be bit better at that and trying to make sure I'm going up to bed at uh, no later than sort of ideally 10 30 to 11 but uh, I'm not always great at it <laughs> so, what might help I don't because I was struggling last year I was saying to my boss I was like oh this work riot <laughs> I'm just doing it all in the evenings and I'm losing my mind and I'm up all the time um and I'm, I, it took me a while to try and manage my time. I, th I feel like now I'm in a good rhythm. I'm happy with how much I do every week on the weekends and what I do in my spare time. And what happened was I made commitments again for health, um, like on the same vein. Um, hmm. And I, I downloaded an app called a habit tracker. And there's things that I want yeah. to achieve every day. So I want to do 10,000 steps. I want to do a workout. I'm not going to lie. That was quite good last year, but I'm not <laughs> been that good at it this year. <laughs> I want to um, like like self care things. I want to make sure I do my skincare, read a mm. read a book or listen to a podcast that's going to be useful. Do MVP stuff yeah. or spend like an hour and block out little bits of things I want to do. And then at the end of the day, I'll make an effort to do them every day. And you don't do them every day. You'll do them most days. And then you just track. Mm. And at the end of the day, when I do, ah, okay, I've, I've done a little bit of everything. That's helping me manage it instead of, you know, not doing something for a few days and then spending six hours mm -hmm. like in your screen. So that's helped me manage my time. I don't know if that's going to be useful for anyone, but it's just a little mm -hmm. habit tracker and just getting healthy habits. So I've got to do 10,000 steps. So I get out of the house. I put on a podcast mm -hmm. and I, I go for a walk, fresh air, no screens. And that's just, yeah. It's so, so good um, at helping manage and time and, yeah, just getting healthy habits in. So, yeah, any generic habit tracker will do. Or a notepad and pen. It's up to you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I do bullet journaling. And so I have this yeah. grid and I do the things that I want to accomplish for, like, the house and self. So, like, weekly mm. for the house and then also for self, I have goals. Um, mm. Some of my things have rolled into, like, my bedtime routine, right? So, like, yoga mm. happens at bedtime if it's not like I haven't gone for a run right yoga be at bedtime reading a book becomes part of that bedtime routine too and then it doesn't feel like I have to carve out time yeah. mm. do more things for this role yeah it's a routine yeah, yeah. which has been helpful and then also making a to-done list like we have our to-do mm. list but there's all those other things that you have done that weren't on the to-do list and that mm. helps reframe how much I've done mm. for the day which mm. is mm. Sure, for think... mental health yeah. You um, as you, I think you could very well be my wife's new best friend because she bullet journals. <laughs> um, she uh, also is um, a mad knitter, crochet. She she loves she she knits and crochets all sorts. There's wool all over this house, uh, and she also <laughs> loves yoga as well. In fact, she was a, a yoga teacher some years ago. Um, so awesome. Awesome. It, it sounds like the two of you would really get on well. So. <laughs> Introduce me. I, I would I, love to yeah. more time with you and make more friends, right? We can have Absolutely. Our, our 
Yeah, we can do like a, I have my, I'm still working on like baby MVPs blanket. It's actually for a friend, but I have like the trim to do and I could, I could use some actual crafting time. Mm, yeah. yeah. Add it to the tracker. See, a <laughs> little bit of crafting. There we go. Yeah. It's all, it's all full circle. <laughs> it used to be that when I would watch a show, I would also craft at the same time. Mm. But like Pete these days, it seems more often than not that if I sit down, I fall asleep. So mm. I kind of can't depend on that at this point. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I would try to kill two birds with one stone. Um, hmm. we'll, we'll try We'll try putting in some craft time for the year. It used to be like bullet journal and craft time, but now bullet journal is more less artistic and more of just hmm. a functional tool. Hmm. And so, yeah, we'll try to move some more fun things into that category. Um, yeah. Like artistic time. So that one, it's almost, I can almost justify saying like, oh, that one's not really like necessary. You don't have to do it. Uh, but mm. I yeah, I think that's important as well. Hold yourself accountable, but don't be too harsh on yourself. For mm. And adding fun things is good as well, because <laughs> then you do still feel like you've been productive in the day, you've accomplished something that's fun. Like, I'll make some TikTok videos. That's really fun to do. Mm. Um, and I'll add it so I'll be like, right, that is something that I've done. So, it, mm. you know, for that, you know, I don't know if anybody else gets it where you get like sad and anxious because you feel like you're not doing anything and you're wasting mm. all this horrible well um that's helped so much mm. by just ticking off i have done stuff today and then tomorrow i'll do this stuff and then it's just a nice easy life this is what we're looking for <laughs> and that's helped me anyway so yeah I almost feel like I've grown out of the, and maybe this is just the pandemic, right? Because before the pandemic, I would be out like every night running the streets, like literally just running, um, mm -hmm. but you know, meeting up with my running groups and board meetings and this and that. And the pandemic forced me to slow down. And now like I, I live on my own and, you know, maintaining a home and work and everything else. I'm like, girl, you can't do it all in one day. You mm -hmm. sometimes it's just going to be, this is what it is. We're going to have to order take it tonight because cooking is not going to happen. Or, yeah. you know, like the laundry can, the laundry can wait. You'll just have to fish underpants out of the laundry basket, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I feel a bit more balanced in the fact that I don't have to be productive when I'm resting, but also still now it's that balance of, okay, work, work, shut down your computer at a certain time. Um, yeah, doing that kind of thing. I'm like, okay, make that the habit. So then you have more time to do the things. So like, oh, the house is, the house is clean. There's nothing to keep me up. And, and yet somehow I still find things to do. It, yeah. like Ten o'clock is too early to go to bed. I don't know why. And it's probably because I've worked nights for most of my career. I worked a lot of like swinging night shifts. Um, so I'm just like, ten is too early to go to bed. I can always do more. And then I find mm. myself at like two a.m. and I'm like, really should have. <laughs> a few hours ago if i sit i'll fall i'll fall over and, and go to sleep um but yeah if i keep like you pete if i keep going i keep going and if i don't look i try not to look at the clock because i feel guilty when i look at it it is too late so yep i hear you absolutely <laughs> so don't know if there's anything else from anyone i think yeah i think we're good to wrap up yeah I think we are. I think we've, um, yeah, definitely. Well, that's been, that's been absolutely great. It's been great to talk to you all again because it's uh, it's been it's been a while. It's felt like it's been a while because we because we had a, a good long Christmas break. Good mm. for us. Good for our mental health. Along the the topics that we've just been discussing, and um, and I agree with everything you've you've all said about that. I think it's so important um, to to take that time for yourself and uh, look after yourself. And um, <clears throat> in fact, one of the things that I did very last thing before we do wrap up is there's a there's a doctor in this country he's quite famous he was on the love island tv show which i do not watch mm -hmm. uh but he's um he's got this post your pill campaign hashtag post your pill to um get awareness about mental health so i did that on twitter mm -hmm. I, I posted my my medication that i've been on for since uh 2013 i've been taking fluoxetine for anxiety uh and, and depression as well which uh in the states is fluoxetine is known as prozac same drug okay. so yeah i'm on, um, on uh, alprazolam to help me sleep so xanax uh, yeah for anxiety too so yeah and there's such a stigma about it but i thought it was such a great campaign and and um somebody said once which I, this really resonated with me um 
you wouldn't think twice about taking medicine for your heart or your kidneys or your liver. Your brain is an organ too, probably the most mm. important one you've got. So why yeah. why be embarrassed and, and hesitate to 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 take medicine for your for your brain as well? It's so important, and it, and it if it helps, why the heck not? So yeah, um, so yeah, mental health. Look look after yourselves and uh, and don't be afraid to do so. And when I posted that, one or two people on Twitter reached out to me and said, "Thanks for posting that. It's made me think, and th- mm. that I need to go and." do something similar, talk to the doctor to get some counseling maybe. And um, so important, so important. But yeah, but on that note, I guess we shall, unless anyone else got anything to, to, to finish off with? No, no I think We're all ready to have a rest now. We're going to have a rest, no, we're, we're, have a rest yeah. <laughs> Let's do yeah, that, talking yeah. about sleeping. I'm going to go for a nap. Let's all go mm. to bed. <laughs> well, it's good to be back um, on Cloud Conversations. Watch out for more to come in the coming weeks. We'll, we'll be releasing every Friday on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Cloud Conversations. Please like, subscribe, share, all the usual stuff. Find us on Twitter at cloudcons365. I think it is. You think I'd know that by now. And um, come and talk to us. We're not hard to find and we're, we're very, very friendly. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you on the next exciting episode of Cloud Conversations very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. No worries. Cheers, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye.